This is Jeff Weiss I'm recording the lecture for lesson 11, that is unit 11. And I think what I'm going to do is break this uh, into three parts. Um, but this uh, lesson is intended to be a um, overview of the landscaping industry and uh, uh, cover some of the basics of uh, uh, principles of uh, landscape design, um, planning uh, a landscape, uh, and uh, installing and maintaining it. So I think the, th the three parts of this uh, lecture kind of break down into the, along those lines. And when you're done with this unit, you should be able to understand and discuss the general goals of landscaping, uh, design the main, uh, describe the main design elements of fo line, form, color, and texture, and the principles underlying them, understand the purpose of the various plans that are used to um, develop landscape projects, and to discuss the criteria for selecting plants to be used in the landscape and provide some good examples of, of those. And this lesson is intended to lead into a, uh, a, a lesson for Unit 12 which gets into more of the sustainability aspects of landscaping which are becoming increasingly important and recognized by the landscaping industry. So it's a, a block of two units uh, collectively to cover the landscaping industry. Key terms and concepts are listed here. We'll get into those as we move forward. So what is uh, landscaping? Well, uh, landscaping is uh, uh, human uh, adaptation of the um, land, especially the land surrounding our built environment, and it is comprised of uh, functional aspects um, and aesthetic as aspects. We'll get into these in a little bit, but the function uh, is to uh, uh, it, use the many positive benefits of plants to uh, increase the value and the um, way in which um, the landscape supports um, the uh, use of a building or a space while the aesthetic parts are to make it uh, look pleasing and to uh, 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 attract interest and uh, uh, show off and accentuate the um, uh, taste of the land owner or the owner of the space. So the goals along those lines are to enhance the aesthetic appeal of an area, uh, financially to enhance the neighborhood and property values, Next goal is to uh, blend the built features with the natural elements of, uh, of uh, a property, P provide privacy uh, to control vehicle and pedestrian traffic and to direct uh, uh, traffic along preferred um, lines of access, and to screen unsightly conditions and views. Uh, I think there's another slide with additional goals and they include uh, to modify environmental factors such as sunlight, heat, uh, even rainfall and uh, uh, standing water, uh, to create recreational areas. Another one is to provide hobby activities for homeowners and uh, I certainly spend a lot of time working in my yard and garden. Uh, to improve and conserve natural resources so the placement of plants can be uh, uh, very important in reducing energy bills for homes and offices, uh, for uh, uh, soaking up and reducing the amount of uh, runoff, and um, uh, also uh, reducing erosion from, uh, uh, from rainfall and moving water. Plants uh, in the landscape perform all of those uh, uh, natural functions, and we'll talk about some of those um, in more detail next week. 
and then uh, providing therapeutic relief. Uh, there's a whole uh, branch of horticulture um, called horticultural therapy, and the benefits to patients uh, are both physical and mental from from uh, from that. And then uh, finally, uh, landscape can uh, significantly improve. Uh, the volume of noise and the levels of environmental pollution that are um, increasingly getting into our, 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 our spaces. So there's four categories of landscaping um, that uh, we'll be considering. The first is uh, residential or the landscaping around uh, individual homes. Uh, second is public landscaping places like parks, um, botanic gardens, uh, arboretums, and other uh, public spaces. And then commercial, uh, many um, office and um, uh, mercantile buildings make use of landscape to um, accentuate their appeal to customers. And then finally, uh, specialty um, this could include places like rooftop gardens and urban uh, landscaping. So there's a variety of professionals that uh, serve the uh, public and customers in the landscaping industry and they range from a landscape architect uh, certified uh, by the association to a landscape designer uh, also with its own association uh, landscape contractors or landscapers. Uh, uh, there's an Illinois association and then we're going to talk next week about the Midwest uh, uh, Environmental Landscaping Association which is um, uh, dedicated to uh, a more sustainable approach to landscaping. And then there's also uh, nurserymen uh, who supply the landscaping business and landscape maintenance supervisors and other uh, workers in this uh, field including crew members. All of these um, individuals have various uh, roles and responsibilities and uh, um, are an important part of delivering the landscape uh, work that uh, is uh, an important part of our, of our culture and our uh, urban environment. So um, we're going to spend, oh, I'm going to break it off here and then start uh, this lesson or this part of the lecture on landscape design uh, and uh, continue on from there.